Spark Team, today we're going to talk about Tug. It's in 10 minute dog toying games and it looks like this. Tug is a really fun game to play with your dog and it can be a really useful thing to use as a reinforcer when you're training. Now the first thing I'm going to tell you is if you Google Tug on the internet you will find dozens of blogs telling you how to tug with your dog and all of the rules and all the mistakes people make. And I'm going to tell you they're all wrong. There is no wrong way to play tug with your dog as long as both you and the dog are having fun. And that's really the key is we want to make sure that we're having fun, that means we're not getting bit, and that the dog is having fun. They're not stressed, they're not feeling defensive, they're not feeling protective of the toy. So the way I start tug is I start with a really long toy, you'll see that. And that does two things. It keeps my hands way away from the dog and the dog's mouth and it keeps the dog away from me, which takes pressure off the dog and makes them more likely to play. Also, I can make more movement with a longer toy. And when the, the dog first starts tugging, the first thing I do is as soon as they get their mouth on it, I let them have it. So I make the tug really fast, make them really work to get it, get them really built up, they get their mouth on it, they get it. And then I ask for more and more duration tugging. When they're, done, when they're up to that point, I switch to a smaller toy and I actually start asking them, are you having fun with me? Are you wanting to play the game with me? And I do that by letting them win, and then I ask them to re-engage. I ask them to bring the toy back. And you'll see with Chance, he does not bring the toy back really well. His real thing is he wants to win it and take it off and um, go hide it somewhere. And that's okay because he's having fun, but then I have to go find the toy. So I'm using a second toy to attract his attention, and I'm asking him to come back. I'm using my body language to ask him to come back and play the game, continue to play the game. And then with Ziggy, it's a lot easier because he can hear, so I just ask him. Now with Ziggy, I want him to actually deliver the toy to my hand. I want him to really say, yes, I still want to play. And then the final thing I do is ask for a little impulse control. So this is to um, be able to have the toy in my hand while I train. So if the toy is in my hand and it's still and I'm not offering it to him, he's um, supposed to wait until he's asked to tug. And he does that pretty well. In the video, I kind of set him up to make a mistake, and he does. And I inadvertently say ah, ah, to him, which is technically a no reward signal, an NRS. I don't really train with them. And it's really interesting because even though I don't train it, he knows it. And you'll see he gets really unsure after he hears that NRS about what he's supposed to do with the toy. And then we finish up well. So let's go see how it goes. Come right here. Good boy. Good boy.
Good job. Yep. Good. Good boy. Good.
Pig Cup Pig Mac, yeah. but we think these piglets have the potential of growing to at least 300 pounds. The problem is there's more and more people selling pigs as teacups or micros or something that's going to stay small. But the reality is they're going to get to be 100 to 150, sometimes even 200 pounds. They're so cute, aren't they? I think let them get a little bit bigger, probably let them get lean, and then get them big. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. Sherman's back this way. How's he been doing? Sherman's been doing great. It's important to get them spayed and neutered because they can be pretty aggressive um, in their breeding season, so to speak. Um, so it makes them a much better pet, a much more tolerable pet. He's like, hey, I remember you. Yeah, no, you're not touching that again. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah. I think today went pretty well. You know, we got all eight of the the pigs that needed treatment taken care of. And Sherman's looked really good. He hasn't really looked back since his neuter. All right, well, thank you so much. No worries. Have a good one. Yeah. You too. in years. Half carat solitaires are now $3.99, one carat $7.90, two carat $9.50 per carat, plus one carat studs $3.99. Insane prices on thousands of GIA diamonds and designer rings. Buy direct, the jewelry exchange Renton. These puppies grew up not to be able to walk at all. And now they will represent the love on Big Bones and Road is on Saturday, February 17th at 9.